right now we're learning about food chains and food webs, and the whole class might be expected to be able to identify the different um, roles of an organism in a food chain. For example, if it's a primary consumer or a secondary consumer, um, my students on the alternative framework, I would ask them to make sure they can tell me that each food chain should start with a producer and then be able to identify the energy role of the animals in that food chain, like whether it's an herbivore, omnivore, or carnivore. So where do I want to put the producers on the board? Ready? At the bottom, okay? So if it's, it starts here, who gets their energy from the producers? Um, where do you think the wolf would go? Uh, do you think that the wolf eats like grass down here? Yeah, it might eat grass. You think so? No. I don't know. What do you think a wolf's favorite food might be? Birds. A bird? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it goes. So if it eats a bird, Okay, so come up here and show me. If it's going to eat the bird, should we put it down here under the bird or should we put it up here above the bird? Above. Above. Okay, good. Come it's up above the bird. Can you move him over a little bit? He doesn't like snakes, so I'm going to move him over a little bit away from the There you go. So now we're going to start making some food chains. So, yeah, so you're going to, you said we're going to start with the grass, right? Let's start with the grass because we have to start at the bottom, okay? And you said that the worm eats the grass. Perfect. Okay, and who's gonna eat the worm? Very good. And then, awesome. We have our first food chain done. Yep, yeah, pick a mark. Okay. All right, so. The wolf would eat the bird, right? The wolf would eat the bird. Let's just have to draw a line. Which bird do you wanna have? Do you wanna have him eat this bird? Yeah. Or that one? This one? Okay. It's fine. All right, so you're gonna draw a line. Now your line has to have an arrow that's does pointing it, to who's look, eating. Does it look weird? No, it doesn't look weird at all. So is the so the bird is eating the wolf? No. No. The, the arrow wolf? has to point to the eater. So where should your arrowhead go? Um, it's gonna point to the one that's eating. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna point put the put the end of the arrow up there. Point to the wolf. We said animals could eat other predators and stuff. What I really like about I did a wolf, and what I do in the class is like I draw all down the answers and notes and see if I, which one I got wrong or which one is right. Guys, food chains don't have to be long, right? All right. Usually, so, aren't they usually like four, like four Usually, no more than like four or five. All right. Well, first, let's do. Let's start at the bottom. So the snail is an herbivore. So if it's an herbivore, what does it eat? Does it eat plants or animals? If it's an herbivore. Mm -hmm. It eats plants. Okay. So you can. We're gonna start with one of our plants. All right. Inclusion at North Carroll, working with ties and laying the groundwork to build a shared vision in the school for students that are on the alternate framework as competent learners. And I think that really has made all the difference. The entire school building a shared vision for students as competent learners is really what made the difference here so that we can have those conversations, we can collaborate, we can have students in the classes who have learning differences and recognize that we're going to play to their strengths, and they are going to be learning, and they are getting grades, they're earning grades.